Hi all, I have another amazing rapid game to show you of Vichy Anand who won the World Rapid Championship in 2017. Here he is playing one of the UK's finest grandmasters, Luke McShane, who once crushed me even when he was a tiny little kid at 5 minute chess. So a remarkable talent in his own right, Luke McShane. So here uh, Vichy is playing black, he plays the Sicilian defence, knight f3, e6, g3, knight c6, bishop g2, knight f6, queen e2, and you might think this purposely discourages d5, but it's played anyway, d5, e takes, the knight takes, black's got a certain grip on the d4 square, it's not so bad this position it seems, rook d1, queen b6, Knight a3, as though knight c4 could be a useful tempo game, but there's a slight downside here. There's this kind of pin here, but there's an unpinning move d3, so that seems quite nice for white. If you can see that there's a nice grip on e5 here, uh, so rook d8, knight c e5, knight takes, knight takes, and now f6 just immediately kicking that knight, knight c4, b5 kicking the knight again, knight e3, bishop b7. Rook e1, knight c7, bishop d2, and now Vichy takes that fianchetto bishop, so that leaves potential weaknesses on light squares. e5, strengthening the grip on d4, f4, trying to undermine that grip, bishop d6, f takes, bishop takes, bishop f4, bishop d4 check, king h1, knight d5, c3, and this is a very interesting position now guess what Vichy plays in this position if I give you five seconds to pause the video what would you play here okay knight takes c3 quite often it's a bad idea to give up two pieces for a rook but here yeah it's a couple of pawns so one of the rooks is going to be taken the a rook is taken in this particular position. I think uh, on something like rook e7 that looks really dangerous but there might be something like f5 here with tempo protecting g7. So the a rook is the one that uh, is taken and yeah the queen is quite aggressive there. You might have thought also this pawn on d3. If white didn't want to lose it if we just step back for a moment um, may maybe it's it's plausible to consider the other moves like Queen F3, but yeah, maybe White is punting for something to coordinate with his Queen later. So the Queen is there giving up this D3 pawn as well. And we see now after Rook E1, this is actually a major threat, Rook E7. And this leads to another clever looking move uh, here. Well, Black plays Queen C8 here, hitting the Queen. Queen h5 in here now, rook e7 is definitely, it should be a cause for concern. So Vichy plays another clever move here, which may be more difficult for you to find than the, than the previous test. What would you play in this position? If I give you five seconds again. Okay, Vichy plays queen d7. He doesn't need to be three pawns up, especially if his king's subject to scrutiny. Uh, if he didn't, sorry, he's giving that up the c5 pawn here to defend against rook e7. Now, before we venture in that, say say a token move just to show the strength of this. This is just going to be dangerous, this position, because, for example, white could get a perpetual check in these lines where the knight and queen coordinate and the rook's on the seventh. It's just a very dangerous scenario. So by giving up the c5 pawn here, that is actually taken. Black can now get rid of that dangerous rook and leave white still struggling here because there's a potential outside pass pawn over here. But more importantly, there's a potential for a massive pin now coming up as well, uh, pinning one of the minor pieces soon. a5, knight g2, a4, so that potential for an outside pass pawn. Queen b6. Rook c2, so we've got a massive pin now at the expense of another pawn. But this pin has both short and long term downsides, which is one of the most remarkable kind of tactical and positional elements in chess you can get. So it's is it worth another pawn here? Well it puts 
white totally on the defensive now after winning this b4 pawn so it's only one pawn and a rook for the two minor pieces but factoring this gigantic pin queen d5 threatening to checkmate so the queen uh is coming back after the check there zooming back to g1 so white's really on the defensive now h5 locking down the pawns a3 so yeah but she was more concerned about locking down this side than, than taking that pawn and he's got with that pin it's it's really a source of great torture now for white after queen f3 bishop d6 king h7 white is pinned down so to speak i, that, I don't know if the, the expression pinned down came from chess I'm, I'm i've recently researched by the way checklist i think comes from chess um from the chess uh, metaphor of, of checking so checklists all chess players should use checklists but here white has been pinned down uh, both in the short term and uh, a medium term term if not long term so white's not going anywhere here bishop c5 rook c2 bishop b4 rook f2 yeah Vichy is toying with poor Luke McShane who needs the power of the force or something here Queen d4, rook d1, queen f4, queen d5, hitting the bishop. Bishop moves back. Rook b1, queen f2, queen e4, queen f4. Now, tricky move, queen e6. Which, uh, after queen f3, can you see why this was a tricky move, queen e6? And though, although the knight's not pinned here, there's another danger in this position. So if I give you five seconds, what will you do here? Will you defend this pawn or do something else? So five seconds, find a winning move in this position. There exists a winning move here, a sparkling final little combination. Five seconds, the pause video. Okay, it's a beauty. Queen H3 check. Yep, absolutely forced. Rook h1, check, mate. So this h5 wasn't actually just fixing down pawns. It was part of the mating that here in the final position. So yeah, it's um, a very interesting decision, I thought, knight takes c3. Maybe white didn't play perfectly after that. And that third pawn, it was three pawns for the two pieces. Then it was two pawns after stopping the invasion, getting the rook off. And then another pawn uh, given to get a massive pin once white was pinned down though uh it's like uh, all the chances were with, with black there so a fascinating game in some respects i thought hope you enjoyed that one and got something out of it comments questions like shows appreciated thanks very much